Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Inside of today's video, we're going to be carrying on with our free-to-play 10 Masters grind. So I've taken a few days off in terms of recording, so still at the same spot uh, where it was before, but hopefully we're getting our way to Mythic pretty soon. So uh, yeah, before we jump into today's video, make sure you're using a credit code in the shop. That'd be greatly appreciated. And without further ado, let's jump into the video. All right, guys, so heading into our first game. And so uh, unfortunately, again, I don't really want to pick Max. Max not really... I have the best brood in the meta right now. So I picked a bow. So the only other option I was going to go is Byron, who was only power six. So I thought I'd go bow. At least I've got his gadget so I can get some free mines. And he does uh, do a little bit of decent damage. So, uh, and I'm hoping I can give Leon his invis as well. So uh, yeah, that's my only thing in here. So I'm hoping Leon can come over and get uh, the gadget. Uh, but he's actually not doing so. It looks like we're going to lose out on that mid-engagement, but some good pressure from our Leon, and we should be able to get that tick down, I'm hoping. Okay, nice kill from the Leon. He's going to go down eventually, though, so, uh, yeah, not really the best. So I'm just going to put my gadget here. Hopefully, Leon can just sit here and get his super again. He's going a little bit aggressive. He must be just really close to that super, so he doesn't really need it. Uh, okay, our gadget is going to get taken down. Looks like Leon is going in, so we kind of need to back him up. Unfortunately, I didn't know that the gene was there, but we do get the trade, and the Leon pops off and gets a couple of kills. So that's exactly what we needed. So I do obviously uh, normally hate people going bow all the time, but in this circumstance, bounty on dry season, it's probably like the only uh, map, to be honest, where he's actually decent in because it's really defensive and you can get a lot of value out of your gadget at least. So we're just going to camp around here. We've got the lead. Uh, we don't need to worry too much. Uh, of course, we need to try and fight back a little bit of pressure. But again, we've got the lead. We don't really need to be making any silly mistakes. So it looks like Gene is going to get a really nice pull. I'm just going to put mines behind him. So he's going to struggle to get out. Uh, I'm hoping I can put my gadget down to tank this pull. Uh, the mine should be able to take him out. I'm hoping. Okay, nice. So uh, we're one star up. We have the blue star as well. Three stars now. So looking decent. Just going to sit here to try and get my mines as well. And again, like Bowie is actually really good, especially when the enemy is looking to try and push you. It can be a really solid option. So I'm just going to put my mines over here. Of course, like the enemies then have to kind of walk in it. And it's going to be kind of toxic as well. Like we've got a bell with a trap and uh, they're going to have to walk through mines and the trap to get to us. So we're looking decent so far. Gene's going to miss his pull. And it's looking like we can probably secure the win right here. So a nice kill on the Gene. We're just going to run into this tick. And Piper jumps up. There's just no way that these guys are going to be able to get back. Even if I die here, it's just going to be an easy win for us. Unless Leon completely throws. I was actually kind of scared there that Leon was going to go die. Uh, but thankfully, we're able to win that one. So I feel like all the time we're playing Brown Bounty. And you guys probably already know all the tips for Bounty right now. So uh, there's not really too much more to say. Uh, with always with Dry Season. I actually really like this map because it's quite simple and enemies... Uh, a lot of the time it gets stuff wrong so again you've got to try and focus on this blue star tick gonna really push up here which i'm kind of surprised about we're going to look to try and take him down here tick gonna go down and we're actually managing to survive so i'm just going to place my gadget here i don't know why bell is really camping here because uh bell super doesn't really do a lot uh here okay at least leon's actually coming back to try and get his super but the problem is with his gadget we don't want like literally everyone camping in the same spot because we can get pushed back so easily so mines are going to be down there so at least that's one avenue where uh, the enemy can't really push up uh we're going to make sure this tick can't push us back all the way in spawn so that's one thing could be scary about in bounty specifically uh, is when they've got a thrower like you can really get pushed back quite far so you've got to try and at least put a little bit of aggression on the thrower so it doesn't get in that position but uh we're doing a decent job here so i'm just going to sit behind the wall Wait for my mines again. My team is going to push up. I've got all the stars, so I don't really want to just go up and risk losing them all. So I've got my next set of mines here. So I'm hoping uh, one of the enemies triple with over their mines so I can place some new ones down. Uh, probably the gene is sitting somewhere nearby with a pool, so I don't want to get pulled uh, right now. So Bell's going to go up. Okay, gene is down the right. Gene is down the right with a pool, so I kind of did predict that right. So Leon's going to go in. He's going to get the kill. Uh, he has got blue stars, so I'm looking to try and get this gene if the gene does take him down. Uh, fortunately enough, uh, we're able to get him down anyway. Both my teammates are low here, so I've got to try and at least put a little bit of pressure away so they can heal up. Uh, Leon's got to get a kill. He's going to go down. 20 seconds left. It's looking good. As long as I stay alive, we're going to be winning this game. So 15 seconds. I'm uh, just slowly just going to look to try and fall back. Again, just going to put my mines here. We've got a bell trap either side and mines. It's just so hard for the enemy to really do too much here. It looks like it's going to be a solid win from us. So, uh, first game 
of this series. I mean, of the series of the week. It's going to be a dub. Let's hop into the next game. All right, guys, so jumping into the next game, probably the last game here. So we've picked Bell. Unfortunately, they've got Power 11 Surge here and Stu for this episode as well. I'm in a little bit better than Baron. I am inevitable. And Rico Buff just realized they haven't got a gem carry. So uh, probably Stu is going to be the gem carrier for some reason. Uh, but overall, I'm happy with our draft. We've got Meg and a Spike on our team and Bell. So I do like going Bell in this meta just because, again, uh, there's a lot of aggressive brawlers and it can be hard for the likes of a Piper to really pop off. Normally, I go Piper as like a reaction pick. So uh, maybe as like a last pick. Uh, if the enemy's going like a bell themselves, maybe I will go Piper then. Uh, but normally as a first pick, norm I do like the bell because, again, doesn't really get countered by too much and can be safe against those aggro brawlers. So it looks like Surge is doing a really good job pushing up here. He's trying to get him out of his position. And yeah, I can't really deal with him too much because he can just two or three shot me if he TPs on me. So should be able to get this stew down. He's going to be one shot here. Looking to try and get a mark on the Rico. He's going to try and protect those gems. Can't really push him. He's got the walls to his advantage. So just going to sit around and wait. So also as well, uh, just actually really annoy me on this account. So, you know, like the tips I was joking about the other day. I think Frank actually mentioned it on Twitter, uh, literally like a few days ago, that we're actually going to fix this in the next major update, which I'm actually really happy about. Uh, it's been annoying me for such a long time where it blocks quite a lot of the screen, uh, the screen sometimes. So I'm happy that it's actually getting changed. Unfortunately, we do go down, but I'm hoping my teammates can get the kill uh, that's kind of why i went in there so i kind of uh, wanted to get the surge low and then finish him off so looking to get rico here rico should be going down 10 hp 10 that is that is ludicrous i don't know how he's managing to stay alive here so going to use another tp i'm hoping Meg can just get out of there should just run away honestly just run to our spawn even if she dies i'm able to collect them so Stu, really really weak as well all three of them are in our spawn here i'm hoping we can at least get a couple of kills so we can start a countdown so we can maybe make a few of these gems uh, it looks like uh, rico again gonna be one shot that is just so painful one shot two times in a row we only need this one gem which the spike needs to run back and get and we're going to be starting the countdown so i think we have enough time to not contest in the middle here so uh yeah we don't need to try and contest for the gems in the middle but they have really good brawlers to try and turn around the game here need to try and protect my teammates as much as possible so rico gonna go aggro he's gonna go down he's got the gems and that's just gonna be the round win so you can see there there was just a little bit of time uh, left for that gem to spawn so really good calculations from uh, me and the teammates there you don't want to just uh, go up and uh, second guess you got to try and make those calculations as quickly as possible so going into the next game honestly that was completely messy i don't know how we won that game they were literally in our spawn the entirety of the game uh but we end up with the win so i don't know why meg is going mid honestly needs to go more lane i know she can struggle against the rico but she should just be staying in the grass trying to pop a few shots in and out trying to build up that super whilst i really can't go lane on this map so we're going to get the stew down eventually i'm hoping meg can get her super off the rico which she does really well there that's exactly what i'm talking about you don't necessarily have to win your lane straight away with meg as long as you're slowly building up to your super you're going to be doing good so uh, we're going to go far right here i know i said i don't really want to be going lane but uh it was a little bit unpredictable do do that sometimes uh on this map uh, but they're able to predict it straight away, which is pretty damn bad. So hopefully our teammates are able to pinch this Rico. He's doing a really good job here of just being a nuisance and just constantly getting our aggression. Uh, Surge is going to waste two shots there. So I'm hoping the Meg can swipe at him. Really nice from our Meg. But again, they just have so much aggression. It's actually hard for us to really break out and get the gems. But finally, we have a tiny bit of control for the first time, probably in this gem grab game. So Rico, again, I can't really contest that. He's got his gadget. Uh, he's going to be able to just heal up if I try and um, kill him there. So Surge, again, he's going to TP. Uh, somehow he doesn't actually kill me there, but he's going to get so much pressure. Looks like these guys are probably going to win this round because, honestly, we've had zero control, uh, which is vital in gem grab. So we're going to actually get one kill there. I'm hoping that Spike can maybe get a Surge. Okay, I, I was thinking a Surge might actually mess up there, but it doesn't. He TP TPs out with the gems, and this isn't looking the best. Uh, honestly, I don't see a way of us turning it around. We haven't even got Mech from Meg. Uh, yeah, there's just no way we're able to turn this around, unfortunately. So, yeah, somehow their comp is actually working. They've just got Surge and Rico going extremely aggro, whilst we're not doing the same to them. So, 
I'm hoping our teammates can get in a decent position and try and spawn trap them just like they have the past two games. So going into the final round, we've spoken a lot in these games. I'm hoping you guys are enjoying the tips and enjoying this series so far. I definitely love loving the free to play series. I've been playing, like I said, a lot uh, just in trophy pushing it and it kind of relives my like joy for the game, right? So when I first started playing Brawl Stars, I obviously wasn't a dirty pay to win player like I am now. And it kind of gives me a lot of joy, especially when I get uh, like a good brawler from a box, like a good star power uh, like before. I kind of took that for granted when I'm on my main account now because I just put gems on the account and just buy it straight up. So it's not as exciting, right? So uh, the series does uh, bring out the joy in Brawl Stars again. So Rico is pushing up. We have got a, a tag on him now, so it should be a little bit easier to kill. Uh, but again, not really any brawlers that can deal with him. I'm hoping the spike just honestly goes on that Rico because at least he can keep the Rico back. Looks like Meg's going to go out of a mech form. But we're doing much better this time around. So Surge kind of going aggro here. Honestly, he's got the gems. I reckon there's going to be a point where he goes to aggro and drops the gems. Well, I'm hoping so. Anyway, looks like Stu's going to get tapped up a fair bit as well. He's going to go down. We've got a Surge over here. He got his... Wow, he had his third level and just two tap me. So that is a power level diff, diff right there. Uh, he's power 11, I'm power, I think, 8, and he's just able just to two-shot me like that. That's kind of crazy. I know he had his damage gear as well, but that's an insane amount of damage. So, uh, Stu, going to be pretty weak there. All of us really, really weak, which not looking the best for us. Honestly, looks like Stu's probably going to go aggro for this last gem. Hoping we can get him down. Nice kill from the Meg, and all these gems are in the middle. Surge is going to actually TP up, and we could have capitalized on that. It's not looking the best, guys. Uh, honestly, I think we're going to lose this one unless the uh, spike just pops off out of nowhere. So, uh, Meg going to get one kill. I'm probably going to ask for too much again anymore, but we can get the Rico potentially. Uh, no, there's just not enough time for us to get it. So, that's going to be it for today's episode. Two solid games right there, uh, which you guys should be learning a lot from. But unfortunately, we're not really able to make up much uh, room in the progression. But that's going to be it for today's video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.